what is going on YouTube? I'm currently in the Batcave. As you can see, the Corvette is in here. I actually ran to the store to grab some LED lights for this video. Um, I hosted a poll on my Instagram asking what would you guys like to see, which was the choices were a full mod list of the Corvette or my monthly payments on how much money I pay for both my Nissan Altima and for the Corvette. Um, this video uh, won the poll, so we're going to be doing this video first, and then second, I'll probably do my monthly payments and so forth. So without further ado, let's hop off to this list because it's pretty big. Here we go. I actually decided to remove the roof so I can get a better visual, but the first interior mod is the elephant in the room, <laughs> the big one. Um, this steering wheel. Uh, this is a steering wheel straight from eBay. I believe I paid around maybe $350 to $400 plus shipping. And this this steering wheel is full carbon fiber. So this bottom part is a flat bottom steering wheel. And the top part is um, carbon fiber as well with the little red band right here. Um, the centerpiece actually is a carbon fiber faceplate because I kept the core of the steering wheel. Another person you guys see on the channel a lot is Marquis and he definitely helped me get this one out and put this one in. Uh, it was a pain in the ass, but it still came out fantastic. It's a super, super bolstered steering wheel. And it's much, much, much better than the 2014 one that came with the car. It's a circular one, it feels a little cheap. Uh, definitely a huge improvement. But again, 450 bucks, 400 to $450 for the steering wheel. One of the best purchases I've made for the car so far. The second mod that I have for the interior of the vehicle is this underglow. So this underglow is Bluetooth controlled and it's actually from OPT7. I believe this kit maybe ran me around $80, I would say. The Bluetooth module is an additional add-on. So that was an additional like 20 bucks, I would say. So around $100. And I got that from Amazon with Prime Shipping. So I didn't pay for anything for the shipping. So. Yes, that's another one, and that is all controlled through my phone. Okay. Now, moving out to the back end of the car, we're going to be talking about these. One of my favorite, I think it's my favorite mod on this car. This is the Morimoto XB Lamborghini Aventador style taillights. And now these taillights are actually sequential, and they look amazing. They really change the look of this car. It makes it look like, a, like it's an exotic or something like that. Uh, the hazards are also sequential. I'm going to see if I can give you guys a small clip of what that looks like in person. Uh, maybe I may go outside, I, know, I don't know uh, just yet, but I'm definitely get, gonna get a clip for you guys. Now, how much I pay for these? Um, you can get these around the same price as the OEM taillights. I bought these from Amazon with Amazon Prime, and I believe these were around $650 before taxes and shipping. So with being a Prime member, I get free shipping, and then maybe taxes is about $50 here in, in Illinois. But yeah, let me get you a clip of the sequential taillights. The exterior of the car. Uh, this goes out to all of my Z51 Stingray owners. This doesn't go to the Grand Sport and the Z06. I actually have the Stage 3 Z06 spoiler on a Stingray Z51 base spoiler. Now, if you don't have a Corvette, you don't really have to worry about this, but for people that are trying to follow this build and replicate some of the modifications that I've done, this is very important if you want the stage three wing. So as you can see right here, I have the stage three wing, well stage two right here, and then I have the stage three glass that's in the middle. A lot of owners don't like to actually get this glass, they just stop at stage two but I decided to go all out and I got the stage three wing. So with that being said, the carbon fiber stage two wing, you can get this in uh, gloss black, but I decided to go carbon fiber to match the carbon fiber roof, which is uh, in the trunk right now. But I have the Z51 carbon fiber package and I wanted it to match. So the stage two uh, deck, lid, deck lid wings were about $450. And the stage three part was about $400, I believe, for the OEM glass part. And as you can see, the stage three wing doesn't necessarily 
bit, it's a small gap because I have the, the base Z51 spoiler, but if you have a good shop like I do, they will make it work. So from the outside, it looks very natural and very nice. And then inside, you can kind of see there's a small gap with the stage three wing, but it does work on the Z51 base spoiler. So do keep that in mind, guys. Also, like I mentioned, it does get a little pricey for these spoilers. So I decided to stick with the Z51 base spoiler because I didn't want to go back down to the Z06 base wing and then go up from there. I wanted to save a little bit of money and be um, productive. So I decided to do this. This underglow lighting is actually from OPT7 and not Lighting Trends. OPT7, their, the length of their LED strip is long enough for the Corvette. However, if you have like a Dodge Challenger or a Dodge Charger or a car that's a bit longer, I would recommend going with a Lighting Trends LED bar, but they're also more expensive. Anyway, I decided to go with OPT7 and this kit ran me about 120 bucks for the Bluetooth module. Now, the cool thing is, is that the Bluetooth module is also in sync with the inside of the car as well. So I can run all of the lights, interior, and exterior regarding these two from the app and I control them separately. So yeah, that's OPT7 Underglow, got it from Amazon and they do have Amazon Prime for it so you can get free shipping. All right, now stepping outside, one of the other modifications I have done to the car is actually these DRLs. The lights are actually on amber right now. Let me get a little closer for you. The lights are actually on amber and they're to match the Underglow. There's something about amber and red that makes this car just pop really nicely. So I have it set to amber. Now, the pair is actually from Lighting Trends. Lighting Trends makes this kit. Not a lot of Corvettes have them. Um, I'm probably one of the very few people that have them on their Corvette that I know of, but you can definitely pick up one of these. I believe the DRL boards are about 200 bucks and then you can get the Bluetooth controller, which I got, which is another $50. Now. If I were to mention any problems with it, the problem I'm having with mine is that since I have so many Bluetooth connected devices in my car, uh, a lot of the time I have poor signal from my phone on here. Uh, luckily for me, I opted to have a kill switch put in so I can turn off the lights from a physical switch in case they start freaking out or they get wet or something like that. But yeah, this is the RGB headlight DRLs that I got from Lighting Trends. Maybe I got the, I got the kit maybe within three days uh, no prime shipping on that. So yeah, but about 400 to 500 bucks. And then for installation, you're looking at another $400 around that, around that cost. So with about a two day turn turnaround. So yeah, sticking to the front of the car, I don't know if you can notice, but this is a Stingray Z51, not a Z06, but I do have the Z06 and the Grand Sport, the Grand Sport, excuse me, the Grand Sport front grill i'm not a fan of any chrome as you know the stingray does come with that small uh silver strip that comes over the front of the car uh i opted for the silver piece because this car has nothing but black interior uh the flash metallic on the mirrors and on the roof and i decided to go black that it would um i decided to go black because it would match the rest of the car so i believe this front grill was around 200 bucks i believe maybe more I'll double check Amazon to see if I can price match that on the screen right here. But yeah, it was a pretty penny, but installation is pretty easy. You just drop the front bumper, remove the old one, put the, put the new one back in. Um, if you do have a Stingray with the front cameras, the newer ones, you can also get a grill that has a camera mount for you. And a tow hitch does fit in front as well. So yeah, and I think, I think with that, that should wrap up the video, actually. Um, I don't think I'm missing any mods on here. If I am, I'll just throw them down in the, in the description. But for the majority of the of everyone that's asking me about my mods, I'm pretty sure I, I uh, covered most of them in here. Uh, this is a used car, and the previous owner may have done some modifications under the hood. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, my mechanic or the guy that was putting in the lights told me to get, get it checked out. So maybe I'm making a little bit extra power. Maybe I'm not, but I don't really care about all that stuff. So as always, guys, Never give up on your hopes and dreams. Last year was a horrible year for a lot of people. I stayed focused on my dreams and I got that. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Stay positive. Go ahead and be a love positive. I rehearse my songs every day, it's so repetitive. I don't battle rap, but I ain't gon' lie, and I'm competitive. I am the competition, I follow my intuition. Back then, all I did was wishing that time is really ticking. I saw that sack, you know a nigga got to run it. I, I, I am the king.
and your bitch kingdom coming.